Ruan Y gastric bypass patients are seen with increasing frequency for endoscopic ultrasound procedures, with the most common indication being suspected bile duct stones. This video demonstrates the technique for identifying the common bile duct at EUS. The echoendoscope should be first advanced past the residual stomach to the anastomotic small bowel, and the liver parenchyma is identified. The liver hilum is then traced, and the portal vein is seen at the liver hilum. The portal vein from the liver confluence is traced by clockwise talking of the echoendoscope, and the pancreatic duct will be seen as an anechoic thin tubular structure inferior to the portal vein. Unlike in normal anatomy, when the echoendoscope is talked clockwise to the right to trace the common bile duct to the liver hilum, in these gastric bypass patients, an anti-clockwise talk to the left will trace the bile duct to the ampullary region. Also, unlike in normal anatomy, the portal vein is seen closest to the transducer, followed by the pancreatic duct in the middle, and then the common bile duct is seen most inferiorly. This endosonographic appearance is called the reverse stack sign. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Life EUS from August 21st to 23rd, 2025 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.